Let us pray for Angie. <sighs> oh. I don't think I've ever seen Kibo so dark. Not even kidding ya. Hey guys, everybody. Everybody, how's it going? My name is Samuel. Welcome everybody to Danganronpa V3. We're back. And Angie has been murdered in her own room. A lot of the mannequins that she created, or the wax sculptures, have been hung upside down for some reason. And everybody's mourning, ma mourning Angie, the cult leader. That's a weird thing to say. So that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. <laughs> Atua, please take care of Angie. It, it can't be. Hey, why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have Atua with her? You don't know? Clearly she did. Weird. That's not true. Angie said Atua always by her, by her side. Oh, and oh, and Himiko. Oh, seeing her so depressed like that, man, that's actually kind of hurts. I'm not even kidding you. Damn it. Don't have time to be talking about this. Instead of talking about Atua. Right? Yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing game. Really? Wait, this is part of the killing game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead only means one thing. One of us killed her. No way! But why would someone do such an awful thing? But... Is that really what happened? Huh? Could it be? It's possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... Wasn't one of us, but what? Hey, it's green! For some reason, one fan's um, vomit is green now. Wait, is it, that means bad luck, isn't it? Uh oh. Vomit soaked entrance. How novel. And the peak is green again, too. That's pretty ominous sight. Yep, that's bad. Okay, that's bad. Uh, what did Sumigi mean by that? She either meant it could be a suicide or it could be the spirits themselves trying to kill her, maybe? <laughs> what another murder happened? <laughs> What's the deal, Monodam? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along. It's okay. One. Don't worry. Overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. Two. That has been the case so far. Yes. Ooh, there's also a possibility that the Monocubs do something. I don't believe the rules of the school encompass Monocubs. Oh god, this team again. Oh my god. Let's check back to the rules real quick here. Uh, review the rules of the regulations. Yep. Okay. Excuse me. The students must leave for the Ultimate Academy. The murder takes place, so surviving students must participate. Blacken exposed during class trial. Blacken is not exposed. Nope. Survives. Killing game. Nighttime. Violence towards Monokuma. Nope. Monokuma will never. Monokuma would never directly commit a murder. I don't think it encompasses the Monocubs. Monopad are very important. Body discover announcements. Minimal restrictions. Body these rules. Assuming is prohibited. Additional rules to the school may be added, so it could be a possibility, a very strong possibility, that the Monocubs could have caused the murder or set up for the murder. Because it just says Monokuma can't do with the murder, but doesn't it say anything about the Monocubs. Let me just make sure, double check here real quick. There's like rule 9? Yeah, Monokuma will never directly commit murder. Does it say anything at all about Monocubs? At all. Has been the case so far, yes. Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? It's fine. Murder are necessary to bring everyone closer together. <laughs> but how? So then. So let's get started. We are all friends. Conduct a friendly investigation. Then we will have a friendly class trial. Must distribute these first. The files, yeah. Oh! Look, the monokuma file. I want it to be one to pass it out. Didn't you want to do it too, Monofanny? Why is Monofanny crying like that? Probably because of the whole thing. By the way, I've been thinking, I guess you'd knock off all the killing and dying. Dying's like so lame. Lying, lying is all the rage these days. A living. <laughs> <laughs> More puke. This is really unlucky. It's green as well. Which is bad. Farewell! So then. As there is no use complaining, we're better off beginning our investigation. So everyone, we all know what we need to do, yes? Yeah. Yep, I mean, by the third murder we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Wait. Not Gonta. No way Gonta ever get used to this. Nope. Trust me, you don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. 
Take it from the ultimate assassin. <laughs> That's nice to know, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Unfortunately, I would trust her. I would trust Maki or anybody. Let's start investigating. It's not like they have any other choice. You're right. That's true. Okay, but still, it's strange. It's a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. In the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Shuichi! Alright, bro. Counting on you as my sidekick. Send this nightmare together. Uh, okay. Yeah, but I feel okay, Kaito. Uh, okay. We seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No, we're gonna die here. Definitely gonna find the culprit. Seems like the culprit is a really someone among us that killed Angie. Hmm. I get how you feel, Tsumigi. You have to repeat that tired old line every time. Um. That's not it. I mean, could this have been the work of the transfer student? Huh? Yeah. Uh. Angie prepared the witch in this room to resurrect the dead, right? That could be a possibility. No, no. Would it? Would it? Hmm. She made those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual. Could it be? Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her. <laughs> Please, Tsurugi, calm down on that. Kaido's gonna die. Hey. Kaido's actually gonna die from a heart attack. What? Shut up already. Wh what? It's her fault. Telling scary stories out of nowhere like that. Saying messed up stuff like that. <sighs> yeah, it's Kaito's gonna die. Uh, He's actually um... gonna die. Kaito, are you right? Damn. Uh, sure. Sorry, Shuichi. I need to get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys. Well, out goes Kaito. Kaito left, still a bit wobbly. <sighs> Do a good job. Coward has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage. Jeez. Clearly settle right in your si sidekick role. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left. Can't afford to sit out anymore. Well. So where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. I'll find the Maki's involved. Yes, let's take a look. I feel like we need a sharp mind like Maki. A sharp mind like Maki would be perfect for these kind of investigations, especially since she's a specialist. Like she's a specialist in murder and assassination. We're surrounded in a place where people and kids have to be murdered and assassinated. I think her knowledge. And her experience, and even work experience, and work history, would be a strong suit for this. Especially this trial. So bizarre, completely. Victim is Eiji Inage, the ultimate artist. But it was found in the ultimate artist lab. The time of death is approximately 2 in the morning. Cause of the death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead also has lacerations. Interesting. Interesting. Monokuma File 3 has been added to the Truth Bullet section of Monopad. Hmm. Monokuma File included the time of death this time. Hmm. 2 a.m. Everyone must have been asleep, but probably can't rely on witnesses' testimonies. What? Wit witness testimonies. So, the murder happened at nighttime after all. If everyone had followed the student council's rules like Angie and Atua said. <laughs> what girl is saying that to you? Corbin may be one of the student council, yes? Why? A member of the student council? That's all right. Should go and figure that out. Start investigating and solve this mystery together. It's impossible. I can't. Himiko? Ugh. I can't do it. Can't investigate Angie's body. But if you don't make it through the class trial, then everyone will die. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Huh? What a oh. pain. Whoa. Surviving and everything else. It's too much of a pain. What was that? Why don't we just use magic to rough Angie? Please stop! It's no time for your mean spirited taunts. Robbing her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say that with certainty, no. Huh? Excuse me? No. Well, of course, the striking her is impossible. But in no way we can speak with Angie. You see? We can summon her spirit with a seance called the Caged Child. Really? You wanna go with that? You sure, Kuroki? Seance? What are you trying to pull? Seance? What are you talking about? Cut it out already. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, it's no time for jokes! I am serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation? Yes. If you speak with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift close. Well, you know. First a resurrection ritual and now Seance? Are you messing with us? Do you understand? Yeah, would it be 
I would appreciate if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. Seans are genuine occurrences, they are written not in literature and in world over. In fact, I myself have participated in a seance a creep many times. Huh? Many times? <laughs> On top of that, we have here a rare chance to perform the legendary seance, the caged child. You would be foolish to not take advantage of this, yes? No. No matter how you put it, now is not the time for something. However, I suspect the only way to confirm your early theories by performing the seance, yes? What? My early theory? Therefore. The possibility of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories on one's head. Well. So to prove such a thing impossible, I think it best we can consult Angie herself. Incomprehensible. That logic is peculiar to say the least. Um. Holding a seance to find out about the ritual, so we're gonna find the cult with the occult. Okay. Huh, yeah, we're actually gonna find the cult with the occult. That is interesting. I can't worry about this forever, so I might as well go with the easy solution. How exciting! Okay, I'll help out. I'm just getting bored of investigating anyway. Huh? Hmm. I'll help too. Huh? You too, Himiko? Bye. Can't talk to Angie one more time. If I do, I'll do anything. Sans or whatever it takes, I'll do it. Well. I'll help out as well. Can't leave Himiko alone. Do whatever you want. Yes! Okay, I will. You know what? I gotta say. As annoying as some of the quirks are of Tenko, with the whole, like, degenerate males and stuff like that. I mean, I guess it's it, it, get, it works me more as a guy. <laughs> uh, T Tenko stands by her friends. She sticks by her friends through thick and thin. Even if she can be sometimes a little bit too hard-headed and not be aware of the situation. Pretty sure... Mm, I don't know. She's so obsessed with Himiko, I'm not sure if it's actually helping Himiko. That's what I'm trying to say. So then... So now we have four participants, Okichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the case child requires five people. We still want one short. Hmm. Well, fine, the keyboard can come too. You're right. I guess we can't be picky. Why? Why are we being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Well then. So then we need a uh, place to perform the seance. Where shall we do it? Mm -hmm. How about your lab? No. In order for the case child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. Your lab has windows? Wait, this place has windows? Then... Oh yeah, to the outside, there was a dome on the outside, I forgot about that. Then how about, how about the empty rooms? That's... Empty rooms? The ones on the fourth floor? Mm. There aren't any windows there, so... There aren't any windows... Yeah, let me try that again. There aren't any windows there, so if you blow out the candles, it should be pitch black. Yeah. Sure, I'm fine with that. Listen up! I agree with the Himiko. Tell me your thoughts. However... There are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Then... The middle room. Oh god, my voice for is sucking right now. The middle room. The middle room is always best for stuff like that. I see, yes. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have you four help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment for my lab. Uh, um... Are you really going to do this? Do you understand? This is for investigation. I said as much, did I not? We need to use all our efforts to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. That's our point. Kyoko, uh, Kyo, Kokichi, Kibo, Tenko, and Himiko all love the scene. This is stupid. Are they serious about this stupid seance? But Perhaps it's just part of the investigation in our eyes. We should go with that. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do. Get the facts. We'll get the facts and figure out what exactly happened here. Alright, let's get to work, ladies and gentlemen. We got an entire layout. Let's first of all focus on everything that is extremely suspicious in this particular room. Let's do a once over on the tops. Make sure we got everything set and ready. Other than the canisters being up there and the, uh, the wax figures hanging up and everything. Nothing particular seems to be out of the ordinary in, in a certain place. There's a tome over there. So I wonder if we can... Oh, cool! I can actually knock some things around off of uh, Angie's room. Actually, let's go ahead and knock some things around a little bit more so that we can have a little bit more of a space to investigate everything regarding going on here, right? So that's what we're gonna do here. Knock around the space a little bit so we can see everything that we got going on here. Can you even knock that around? <laughs> no particular reason to knock everything around here, just so we can see what's going on here, what's up, you know? Okay. Now that we cleaned up the room a little bit, wow, this is actually a really innovative way to do this. 
what do we got going on here? We have Kaeda stabbed in her heart with a blade. A gold, a golden blade, mind you, a golden blade that makes me think heavily about. Can we not investigate the blade? Guess we have to head over to Angel's body first before we can investigate the uh, uh, Kaeda's body, Kaeda's wax figure. But the blade itself, I wonder if the blade is golden plated. Because if the blade is golden plated, we can only we can already narrow it down to some suspects that know of the golden blade. Ooh, I wonder. Check the back door first. Door and lab is back. This door is the lab's back door. Is this? Let's see here, what's going on here? Door is a sliding lock, and it's still locked. That's true. Because no one used the door since we came in here. There was also some weird dust on it. What's that about? I believe Angel locked the door when she came in, and it's been locked ever since. Hey. Wait, what is that? Look, there's some golden shiny on, on the top of the sliding lock. Interesting. Interesting. Golden shiny? Could it be? Is that alright? Maki, may I see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding lock. So what? You want to lock it? Go ahead, get what you want. I carefully touched the knob of lock, avoiding the gold part. Softly slid the lock open. Okay. Yes, I suspected. Sock will slide without much effort. Hmm. Wouldn't be lock it or unlock it? Or would they unlock it or unlock it? This could be an important clue. Art Lab's back door has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Okay. Well... Curious about the rear door too. There's much else that bothers me. Locking the front door to be used to, to enter this room. Shouldn't we investigate the front door too? I'm gonna take a look, closer look at it. Around Maki. Maki walked over to the front door. We should probably talk to Maki about the front door, shouldn't we? Let's go investigate it. It's unlocked, but I think there's still things to investigate here. Oh, let's talk to Maki here. See what she can tell us. Hey. Just want to confirm something. When we got to this lab, are you sure that the front door was locked? Okay. Yeah, I'm positive. I grabbed the knob and tied it. Try to turn it. It really is locked. I knew it. Front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock and opened to open it. Kichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Click, click, click. And he unlocked it. There, open says me. Hmm. So he picked the cylinder lock open. Hey. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock beside him? That's true. It would have been impossible for the outside. The Mono Cups took the key. They did take the key, yeah. Okay, here it is. There's only one key, so don't lose it. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door to open it from the outside. Let me see that key. Monodem swapped the key from Monofanny, lifted it to his mouth. Nom. He ate it. Yep, he did eat it. So Kichi is the only one who could have opened that closed the door from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kichi would have been able to open and close the door from outside. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as they pleased. Huh? So the front door was locked from inside the room? No. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the door got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the door? Hard lab front door has been added to the tool build section of the monopad. Unless it's one of those doors that gets locked immediately as you close it, and it can only be opened from the outside. Unless you do have to put on lock every single time. Maybe. See, if it's a cylinder lock, and you could like, you know how like doors today, you can like, there's like a little knob, you can kind of twist it and then close the door and it's in, then it's locked at that point, right? Or you can like press the button in for some of the doors and it just locks already, even when you close it. So that could be a possibility. Somebody could have killed Angie, right? Very, very late at night, left gold residue for some reason, and then right as they were about to leave, they twisted the knob that would... All, would Turn, uh, would turn on the door, uh, lock for the door, and then close it, or like press the button or whatever, and just enable the lock before they close the door. That could be a possibility. Very strong possibility. Just a cylinder lock. Still, it's strange that the front door and the back door have different locks. The front door that we came in has a cylinder lock, and the rear door over there has a has a sliding lock. But by the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. Is this? In other words. It's what you might call a lock room mystery, right? Locked, huh? You're right. Cylinder lock was taken by Monocubs. 
So both doors could only be locked from the inside. Hmm. Only if you rule out Kakichi's lockpicking, right? Could have picked the cylinder lock from the front door to go in and out of the lab. So he could have created this lock from mystery. It's possible that he locked the door from the outside, picking it after he killed Angie. If I remember correctly. That's true. We did have a moment with a lock the lock door mystery in the first game. I believe it was the fifth no, it was the fourth trial that we had. That was a very depressing trial, by the way. Very depressing. Uh, but I don't think it's the same case. I don't think it's the same case. Correct in a four in, in that in the first game on the fourth trial that was considered a suicide. I do not believe this is a suicide whatsoever. I do not believe that's a suicide. That's true. That's right. Also, he appeared in all the convenient time when you tried to enter the lab ourselves. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. It is suspicious, but the solution seems a little too convenient. Kichi's lockpicking has been added to the toolbox section of a monopad. See, I don't think Okichi have done it. See, the thing is, with Kokichi, I feel like he's mischievous. Mischievous as hell. And we should, you know, we should be extremely cautious of him being mischievous and everything. But... I don't think he done it. I actually don't think he done it. There's no closer point to him exactly doing it 100% here. Let's investigate Angel's body a little bit more. Angel's body. She's lying face down in the middle of the room. I kind of want to investigate... What's wrong? The wax figure of Kaeda and the blade. I want to check out what kind of blade that is. Because if it is a blade that... That, uh... Good lord. What's his name again? Good lord, I already forgot his name. Sorry, my mind's blanking out so hard right now. Kurekyo. Kurekyo, sorry about that. If it's Kurekyo's blade... Like I said, we can only, we can only at that point, narrow down to who could have used it. Who would have known about it in the first place? The only three particular people that would have known about it from the start and actually seen the blade. So we should keep those three people in suspect. One of us being Shuichi, so we can already rule him out because we haven't seen him do anything particularly suspicious. It's not the Kaede situation where Shuichi just went and murdered things, he's just not gonna reveal to us until the end. At least I hope not. So we can possibly pinpoint to two particular individuals then, at that point. I'm just gonna keep it in mind. I hope we can investigate the blade eventually. I can take a closer look. Uh, okay. Yes, I was planning to. Got a minute? Let's hurry up and do it. Can't afford to waste any time here. Maki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me, walked over to the body. She has no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. Let's see. Okay, now we can investigate the blade. The four effigies hung upside down. Makes it seem particularly eerie. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams of the ceiling. If I remember correctly. And you made all these wax figures. Also, the whole ropes thing? I wanna keep that in mind. I, I feel like the ropes might be kind of important here. The ropes. I'll talk about it in a little bit. Just keep in mind, ropes might be an important clue here. Hey. Is this rope from the warehouse? You're right. I believe so. That means there won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten those ropes. <sighs> Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. Warehouse does contain plenty of things that can be used for murder. It does. I think uh, it's on purpose. Um... Anyway, I know these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. That's true. Effigies look exactly like real people. Not just the faces, but the bodies too. Ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. Why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of a ritual? Hmm. I'm not sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Why would it go out of the way to hang a wax effigy? Right. If they're going to do much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? What who would do this? The corporate? Angie? Or someone enti different ent uh, else entirely. Angie hung upside down. Uh, Effigies hung upside down has been added to the toolbox section of your monopad. Can we look at the blade? There we go, katana. There we go. Ha! Huh. This looks like a very old katana. Looks exactly and is described exactly. Okay, so looks very similar. Has a particular golden sheen to it. Almost similar to the gold katana that Korekyo had in his room when Kakichi went to start playing with it and saw some of the gold flakes being rubbed off of it because it's so old and ancient. Get what, you understand what I'm getting at? You understand what I'm getting at? I feel this case might be a little, might be, maybe, like, is there still a possibility that this could be some 
great A Town foolery happening here, like with previous case. Major great A Town foolery. That we're just not missing out. Or it could be the most obvious of all obvious. There's two cases here. Either it's really obvious, or somebody is, de somebody is depending on us to outline it as being obvious. I'm hinting towards maybe Kareki or Kakichi. That's what I'm hinting at here. Anyway, Katana. Sam to Kanda's wax effigy. Damn it! Who did this and why? Got a minute? Let me see. Maki nudged me aside. I gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Ah! Oh wait, it's a crime scene. You can't. What is it? You want to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do that if you don't pull it out. Because. Yes, that's true. But we have to preserve the scene. Maki paid no mind to my protest. Stared at the katana for a while. Is this? Why is the blood in the katana? Huh. That's weird. Do you see that on the tip of the katana there's blood? Interesting. Interesting. It's a real katana. With this gold leaf on it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I believe that's the one that was displayed on the Ultimate Anthropology Lab. Mm. Is that so? Okay. We can probably assume this is a murder weapon, judging from the blood stain on tip. That is too rusty to cut well. Would it be enough to stab? But... But why would you go through the effort of using this as a murder weapon? That's true. Good question. I would've gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Could it be... Perhaps just Kyo's lab is on the same floor. Just grab something close by? May... Uh, may have been in a hurry. Well... Maybe they need a long weapon like this. Huh? Long weapon? Okay. The lab doesn't contain swords. Any other weapons of that length? Huh? Really? That's true. Not sure how Monokuma found it, but must but he must have known I don't use swords for work. <sighs> when I first started working, I botched a mission using a katana. Sorry, my eyes are getting a little bit tired because being a long day and recording this kind of late at night to make sure that I'm catching up with the series and everything, so apologies if I'm a little weary. I haven't used a sword since, which is fine because they're a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them personally. Just like Angie's was. But how did they know of this? <sighs> anyway, the gold leaf on this katana takes off easily. It's all over my hands now. Uh, okay. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to take to uh, flake off that easily. Got a minute? Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I have to wash them later. I get scolded me. A student found of Kata's effigy. Hey. I'm going to put the katana back when we found it. It's so hard work to watch. Look away. Uh, okay. Thank you. I word of my gaze, Maki stabbed the katana back into the wax effigy. By the way. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? Handling wax effigy a hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual? Or was the corporate trying to hide the murder weapon? Hmm. Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there's a better way to hide the murder weapon than this. What are you talking about? Then what reason for this? That's Honestly I have no idea. Well... We should investigate where this weapon came from. Might find a clue there. Okay. Which may have a power slab. Yeah, let's do that. Want to make sure the katana indeed came from that room. Cold Leaf Katana has been added to the Truth Bullet section with Monopad. Now, regarding the ropes, right? Regarding the ropes... I know that even Kirumi, uh, you know, when, whenever she used the ropes to... Uh, to get across with Ryoma to get uh, to go ahead and drop off his corpse already in the fish tank, right? I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty certain that she's no expert when it comes to ropes and stuff. She's she doesn't care too much about the ropes. Either the ropes were used. Now hear me out. Either here's my theory here. Who has the biggest affinity for ropes right now? In this in this die cast, there's a die cast of the living. There'll be two people, two people in particular, that seem like they don't have affinity for ropes. One, Himiko is a magician, but she only uses it for magic. And two, Korekio, who, as we've seen from the Love, from the, uh, love Key event, uh, he has a huge, huge love for ropes. He loves the ropes. I mean, even on his student profile page, here, let me go ahead and find a quick, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, whoops. Might actually go up close to the body there, miss like here. They'll pull up the uh, student records. Oh my god, this theme alone wouldn't change it. If you look at his uh, likes, he likes straw ropes. 
big fan of them. I'm a big, big fan of the ropes. He likes the ropes. But, hanging these things in such a manner... And, I mean, she does have a Angie does have a ladder and everything, but I mean, at the same time, with such tact and, I guess, coordination? Clearly she was following the book, the Necronomicon, probably, when I was trying to place them. I'm thinking maybe it could have been a possibility that... Maybe... No, Kareki didn't really want to work with Angie. He didn't really have anything for Angie in particular. Don't think... He, see, the only thing I can only think of is that maybe Angie and Koreki would have worked together to try to set this up, and that's where we got, that's where she got the blade from. But Koreki would not be the kind of guy that would use his antiques in such a manner to go kill and toss them around, especially something as old as the katana, or even leave some sort of flakes on the back door there. Clearly, whoever had the katana also closed the back door for a reason. Uh, the Angie did herself and left some residue over on there. And then, over the killer, over the killer, right at the very end after after they killed Angie, let's set this up. It could also have been like a trap, right? It could also have been like a, a trap scenario where the golden residue or the back door was maybe locked into some sort of mechanism or something that forced the, the wax figures to be in such a manner and possibly kill her? Because like, I'm thinking maybe it could, could be an, a trap that was set up for Angie. That's a possibility. Not a confirmed possibility, I'm just kind of just shooting shit right now, honestly. Just trying to see what I can come up with at the time. Let's go ahead and investigate the Necromob kind of a little bit. One. Once powerful yokai. 